Good morning. How are you all? Good? Good. Welcome back to school. Are you all excited to be back to school? Yes? I am too excited and happy to see all my lovely students back to school. So, this year we are going to learn again many new things in ICT. Are you all ready and excited to learn more and more in ICT? Yes. So, before we start our lessons before we jump into our lessons i am going to teach brief on class era what is class era i'll give you introduction to class era how we will use class era uh, what are the features of class era uh, how to send mails how to e receive emails how to read notifications from where you have to go if some teachers have given you some homeworks and all we are going to study about class era so are we all ready okay let's start so be focused and see what you are going to see on the screen now whoa, whoa, whoa. what is this what is this cartoon character let me guess is this a batman oh yes this is a batman you all know what's a batman yeah you all have seen it, the cartoons and of uh, Batman? Yes, so this is a Batman. So, let's see what will be our learning objectives. Learning job objective number one, to be able to tell the operational requirements of class era. That what are the operational requirements of class era? And number two, to practice the computer skills, you can only use uh, class era if you know how to use computers, yes? No problem, we will all study that. Number three, to follow instructions to use class era, that listen carefully that how and what instructions we have to follow to use class era. So these three are our learning objectives. Have you ever used a computer? First of all, let me ask you a question. Have you ever used a computer? Yes, we all have used a computer in our homes, in our schools. Now, what do you do on your computers? What do you do on your computers? We work, we play, we watch cartoons, we read newspapers. Yes, uh, we listen to music. We do many things on computers. So we all know how to use a computer and how a computer looks like. Yes? Okay. Now, what work can be done on a computer? The same question again I ask you. What work can we do, what can we do on a computer? We work. We send emails. We listen to music. But only these three things we can do? No, there are many, many more work which we can do on a computer. Okay, yes. So, again, our learning objectives. Don't forget our learning objectives for today's lesson. To be able to tell the operational requirements of class era, to practice these computer skills, to follow the instructions to use class era. Next, what is class era? What is class era? Class era provides an interactive learning environment. Interactive. What is interactive learning? Interactive learning means that the study you do through the use of computer technology and electronic media. For example, I'm sitting in my home and I'm just sitting on my computer. I'm using class era and I'm learning in my home. I'm studying ICT, maths, English through class era in my home interactive learning okay next class era also supports arabic language okay now how to use class era how are we going to use class era for using class era we need internet connection from Uridu or Vodafone, that's for sure. We, we need to have a good internet connection. Next, we need to have a laptop or a desktop. Internet browser like Chrome. 
So these three things we need to use Classera. What are these things? These three things, internet connection, laptop or a desktop, internet browser like Chrome. Clear? Okay, next. Classera does not work on smartphones. Why it cannot work on smartphones? For example, sometimes the videos, they don't work on smartphones. The PowerPoint also it doesn't work on Classera on phones. So it is good and it is better if we are using a laptop or a desktop. Okay? Just keep this in mind. Classera does not work well on smartphones. Next. Let us see advantages of Classera and what are the disadvantages of Classera. First, we will study about advantages. Advantages are announcements can be sent by teachers or management. Announcement. Like uh, we have this thing in our school, the announcement, any announcement by the teachers or management from school, we are going to send it in class era. Class era avoids unnecessary use of papers. For example, we can do online assessment, online work, online homeworks, everything can be done on class era. So it avoids unnecessary papers. Allow communication between teachers, students, and parents in order to the sharing. Uh, through class era, we can do communication. The teachers, the students, and the parents, they can do communication other than sharing course materials. The parents and the teachers can mail, they can chat with each other, they can communicate through class era. Okay? What is the next advantage of class era? It allows an easy way of sharing online or uploaded educational references to students. It is very easy to share on, to, of sharing online or uploaded educational references to students. It is very easy, okay? And it allows an easy way actually. Now, let's see what are the disadvantages of class era. Since it is online, so what do we need? We need a strong, stable internet connection. What do we need? We need a strong, stable internet connection. Weak connection of internet cannot be acceptable. It needs a strong, stable internet connection to work on class era. Technical issues may occur and may cause disruption. Sometimes it's not from us, it's from class era or something. Some issues happens. Some issues might come. This is advan disadvantage of class era. Okay. So advantages and disadvantages. Where there are many advantages of class era. The announcements can be sent on class era. It uh, avoids papers, use of papers, then communications between the teachers, students, parents. Okay. Then uh, allows an easy way of sharing online or uploaded educational references to students. But whereas when it comes to disadvantages, disadvantages is that since it is online, so it needs a strong, stable internet connection. And sometimes technical issue may occur and may cause disruption. Clear? Next. Class era services. That what do we have in class era? What do class era give? Learning management system. Student information system. Advanced student attendance management, social learning, assessment system, gradebook system, messaging system, e-certificate, announcement, instant notifications. Learning management system means that uh, the course materials, everything is there. Student information system, the student information is in class era. Then advanced student attendance management, the attendance of 
students social learning they are studying at different different places social learning then assessment system assessment can also be done on class era then grade book we can put grades also in class era messaging system we can message uh, through class era to teachers to parents to students then certificates e certificates can also be issued through class era then announcement announcement any announcement through class era from school from management from teachers can be made through on class era instant notification whenever there is any work to be done whenever there is any homework any assignment any project anything notification comes over there so we studied that what is class era what are its uses what are the advantages and disadvantages of class era to use class era what we need what is class era once again i'm going to repeat class era provides an interactive learning environment interactive learning means that we can study uh, anything sitting in our home through class era we can study anything ict maths english arabic whatever lesson is it whatever subject is it uh, through class era class era also supports arabic language there is not only english it also supports arabic language then we studied that if we need to use class era what uh, we need to have we need to have a strong internet connection we need to have a laptop or a desktop we need to have google chrome now um on smartphones on smartphones class era doesn't work properly it might uh, doesn't open the um, presentation sometimes a voice doesn't come so it doesn't work well on smartphones so we should use on laptop or desktop then we studied the advantages and disadvantages of class era advantages of class era are that it allows the announcement all the announcement from school from teacher from management can be sent through class era then uh, avoid avoiding uh, the papers means to say the use of papers becomes less when we use class era because all the uh, because we can do assessment assignments on class era then communication between parents students and teachers teachers can communicate with parents teachers can communicate with students through class era then what are the disadvantages uh, disadvantages of class era again that it needs a strong internet connection weak connection does not cannot on weak connection class era does not work properly so we need to have a strong internet connection next because it is online sometimes some technical issues may occur some technical issues may occur okay sometimes then we studied about class era services that what services class era gives learning management system in which all the learning areas can be found learn course materials all everything will be found in learning management system student information system where all the information related to student is there advanced student attendance management the students present and absent is there social learning all we can learn from social different different places different learn, uh, different distances uh, then we studied up there is assessment system all the assessment can be done through class era then grade book system the gradings all can be marked in class era we studied about messaging system that messages can be sent from parents to the teachers from students to the teachers from uh, teachers to the students teachers to the parents e certificates teachers needs to give certificates to the students it's easy to give through class era that's called called as e certificate then announcements again any any announcement from the school any announcement from the teacher any announcement from management whatever it is that's announcement that is also made can be done through class era instant notifications instant notifications once again any work that you need to do any notification from 
of homework, of assignment, of project that uh, any teacher has given you any project, any assignment you have to finish, anything related to any subject, your instant notification will show you over there that you have notifications. So today was only uh, an introduction to class era. So in the coming lessons, we are going to study more on class era that how to log in into class era, how to add your uh, user ID, password and all. Then we will learn more in detail about how to browse our content, how to browse our course materials, how to check our mailbox, how to send an email, how to send a message to the teachers, where we need to go to do our homeworks, where we need to go to do our exams, everything in coming lessons, in coming days we will study. So today was only an introduction of class era. If you have any question related to it, please ask me. Thank you.